Bhagat Singh Jan Adhikar Yatra. This Yatra is going through 13 states. It has begun in Bangalore on December 10th and it has crossed AP and reached Telangana now. It will be uh, continuing the Yatra from Maharashtra and it will end in December on 3rd. Uh, it will end in Delhi on 3rd March. So the Yatra is to reach to people and the Yatra is to convey to people that the, for the past 9 to 10 years we have been witnessing a lot of Hindu Muslim uh, issues and a lot of communalism but the whole uh, idea of the ruling class that has been bringing these issues to the fore is to is to divert our uh, attention from the basic necessities, the basic problems that the people have been facing, uh, whether it is employment or whether it is uh, food or whether it is inflation, whether it's education for the children or medical facilities. We say that these issues, these facilities should be made fundamental, it should be included in the fundamental rights. They have to be, uh, they, they are the basic issues of people and they need to be resolved. It's been 80 years since independence Bhagat Singh was of the hope that when India gets freedom so uh, when India gets freedom people in this country will have the basic necessities but then that is not the case we have been witnessing uh, for the past even even since even for the past 60 70 years there's been a lot of problems but then for the past 9 to 10 years these issues have gone up in a big scale so uh, the fascist government now is responsible with their policies for the uh, uh, for inflation or whether it is for hike in prices we say that uh, these policies these anti people policies of fascists these are the problem now these has been this has uh, this just speeds up the inflation this 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 just create makes the problem more Our governments uh, we will not say they are better than this government, but this government, we will still say that this is worse because this is worse because the earlier governments also we have been facing the same issues. But now these issues have uh, gone to a manifold. Uh, these issues have increased manifold. So uh, the anti-people policies, this government has been implementing these anti-people policies blatantly without any uh, without any without uh, without any fuss so it has been openly doing these the earlier governments were hesitant to openly blatantly uh, take an anti people stand but this government has absolutely no hesitation and that is the problem that is why for the past 9 to 10 years there's price strike there is an unemployment uh, at, Modi government has come to power saying that they will provide employment, they will provide 2 lakh, uh, per, uh, two lakh uh, jobs, but then uh, we see that now every minute there are three jobs that are being terminated. So this is the result of the anti-people policies of the fascist government that has been, that they have been taking for the past 9 to 10 years. What is there any uh, solution that you are going to do with these problems? Uh, so the demands of this yatra is that we demand uh, education, free and equal education for all, free and equal medical facilities for all and housing for all, employment for everybody and in case they cannot provide employment, they should give them an employment allowance of at least 10,000. Uh, they should also provide uh, the middle and small farmers with uh, uh, with facilities to continue farming and also uh, this is about uh, the communalism that has been uh, you know the government has been spreading for the past uh, decade this is to divert people's attention from these basic issues and uh, they have been uh, resorting to extreme violence and communalism so we say that this is a fascist government Things can also be mitigated by state government. Do you want to give any suggestion to state government? Yeah, even in Telangana, the state government has been very reckless in handling uh, em employment or any other issue. The hope that people had with uh, the formation of the Telangana state, they have all been shattered in the uh, last two terms. So, uh, the state government has absolutely failed. 
we say that the state government also has failed in taking up people's issues uh, very badly and we can see the result there is an anti kcr anti brs sentiment in the state also and that has reflected in the elections uh, no matter which government comes to power the people's issues have not been taken care of and the politics of the country revolves around not the issues or the real problems of the people but the anti uh, anti minority issues or anti uh, or communalization of people this is a divide and rule policy they opt since they have been doing this for decades